Hi, I'm Kelly, and welcome to the Singing Boston. Today we're going to make homemade dog treats using only three ingredients. Maybe four if you count if we need a little water. We're actually going to make them in the blender. Today I'm going to be using tuna fish, a whole egg, including the eggshell, and some brown rice flour. The beautiful thing with this method is that you can make it out of whatever you have on hand. I have made it with honey and cream cheese, I've used peanut butter, I've used tapioca flour, pretty much it always includes an egg, and then some water if things get a little bit dry. We're going to make this to be a runny consistency. I'm going to take my tuna fish, dump it in. I bought a big container at Costco and just put it into 10 ounce containers. A whole egg, including the eggshell, get a little extra calcium, and then not very much flour. And again, this is brown rice flour, but you can use regular flour, you can use tapioca flour. Um, different flours will give you different consistencies, so just play around with it. All right, let me check my consistency. I think it may be a little dry, so let me add a little water. Oh, not bad, actually. Let me just add a little. You can also throw in a little cheese if you want bacon, a little bacon grease if you had some. All right, now we have a little more liquid consistency. Now the reason we want this to be a liquid consistency, let me get rid of this, I dice. I have a Boston, a very interested Boston Terrier at my feet right now. Is we're going to use something called a pyramid mat. Now it's usually meant to be this spiky side up, and it's to drain the grease off of meat. But some brilliant dog person figured out that if you turn it around, it actually has all these little dents. And so we're going to pour this into the side with the little holes and the little dents. There is a Facebook group called Pyramid Treats. So if you go out and join that, it's a public group. They have a bazillion ideas out there for different flavors and combinations. Um, they, they also share links to different size mats. I buy the small ones. We have three Boston Terriers, so I need to keep our cookies small but it's a great group, very friendly. I know I have a lot of friends who use these mats, so I would love it if you would share recipes um, down below in the comments. And so all we're gonna do is take this, and now we just spread it out. I try and get the holes filled in as much as possible. So hopefully you can see it's a pretty runny consistency here. Once it's all spread into the holes, then you just bake it in the oven for eh, anywhere from maybe 10 to 15 minutes. And I do a 350 oven. If you bake them longer, they will get crunchier. I personally like them on the soft side. Again, I have small dogs and I need small cookies that are soft so that when I use them for training, then I can, they can eat them quickly. Something else to keep in mind when you're doing your ingredients is the purpose of your cookies. So if you're wanting them for training where you're gonna be throwing them, make a lighter cookie, and that's where these tuna come in handy, the cream cheese and honey I made, and I think I threw a little bacon in those, were nice. If you use something like peanut butter or liver, it's going to be a darker cookie. So that will be something that maybe if you're going to reward from your hand or it's just going to be cookies for your cookie jar. So when you're baking it, just test, just take a look at them. And if you're wanting that softer consistency, then just don't bake them quite as long. 
if you want a crunchier consistency, then leave them in a little bit longer. All right, I'm gonna pop these in the oven and we'll check on them when they're done. And I baked them for about 18 minutes. I checked them after 15 and they weren't quite the consistency I like. And the way I'm checking for the consistency is I kind of just pop one out there. And again, I want these softer, so I want them a little gooey. So I'm gonna let them cool. And you see I put a cookie sheet underneath this. I'm gonna let this cool and then we're going to dump them out. We are all cooled. And so now I'm just gonna pop these out. And there you have it, the world's easiest dog cookies. Only three ingredients, no cutting, no rolling. Just throw it in a blender, throw it in the oven, voila. Mm -hmm.